Hi. This is uh, Sherry from Sherry's Plants. Hello. How are you doing today? I don't know if you can see me well. The sun is shining really great up there. And I'm going to pick a few muscadine uh, grapes and have a quick talk and tell you this funny story. Now, the last uh, video I... Sorry about that. I think I had some technical difficulties there. Anyhow, um, I'm back. And we're going to try this again. <laughs> so anyhow, um, I came out and I had said that I was on a fast. And I was picking muscadine grapes because they were... Um, they were ripe and I thought, oh, these are God's little treats. I'm going to have a couple of these regardless of my fast. Well, um, lo and behold, I didn't know. Um, I gained a pound that day <laughs> and I went and uh, went and checked all the health on it. And each one of these little babies have got a carb in them. So they're not good for low carb diets. Um, I have so many uh, ripe ones so I cannot myself eat them and I was trying to figure out well what do I do with them uh, now naturally I could feed them to my chickens but um, that seems like a waste at this moment so I think I'm gonna make some jelly um, for Maybe I'll can some up and give it to some friends for uh, the holidays. So I've never made muscadine jelly. So that might be a fun thing to do in the future. Now, with that said, I don't have all the, um, all the items that I need. Uh, jars and pectin and those things. So... I figured I would pick the grapes today and then um, freeze them and then we can, uh, I'll do a video when I do them into jelly. Now, um, whoops, dropped one, that's one for the birds. Now, the thing is, is normally you would make these, um, make jelly out of fresh, uh, items, but I'm getting a, uh, I don't have the jars and stuff, so I'm going to freeze these until I have all the items I need to make what I want. And I'm also going to come out within several days to um, make sure I'm getting these as ripe as they could be so they're the best tasting as it could be. Um, there's so many of them out here. Now, if you've never had one of these, they're not like regular grapes. They, uh, and these these ones right here, these this is from a Triumph grapevine, and they're sorta of in the scoop the scuppernog, scoopernog family. And um the thing about them is like I tried one when I was in a nursery, they had one with a grape on it, and I tried it and it's like, oh I have to have these. So I went and got those plants and planted them. Uh even though they're not the most colorful, they have a very, they're a very light and interesting flavor. They, to me, it almost reminds me of the flavor of rose or rose water, uh, a light floral uh, flavor to them. And they've never been that popular because of the color of them. I mean, let's face it, um, you know, this color is not going to be beautiful in a jam. So, um, but if you live in the South, 
uh, this is a perfect vine. They also grow wild. And I was going to tell you, um, now they have a thick skin on them. And a lot of people have a hard time getting over that. Um, eating them fresh. They have a thick skin, but, and then, then it's real juicy, and then there's a couple of seeds in there. You can either spit them out or swallow them. It's eater's choice there. See, some of the red ones are just, they don't feel soft enough to me. And the thing about my red ones, I think they are called Supremes. They, um, to me, they taste sour, almost like wine already, which is, I mean, it's not an awful sour, but it's different than, um, different, a totally different flavor profile, I think, than the other ones. I don't see any ripe, they're almost black. They're, they are black, actually, when when they're ripe enough, let's see. See that, they're so purpley and ripe like that. So, yeah, um, I don't think there's any down this way. It's kind of dangerous in this part of the yard. <laughs> and the blackberry vines with the thorns are pretty thick through there so I'm not going to go down that way I might go out and around and yes my uh, um, here's another thing about the color of these I would say the birds are less likely to eat them because they don't see them as well but I've had these turkeys that I have right now haven't figured it out but I've had turkeys pick me clean out here um, so, with the, uh, red colors, the crows and, uh, the other birds will notice it a lot more. And the chickens don't seem super focused or they're unrealizing. I think it's too big for them, so they'd have to break it up and they'd play a game of catch with it uh yeah i didn't trim these last year and i'm really gonna have to do that this year to get a better crop and it makes it easier to pick when they're uh properly maintained uh is the whole purpose of properly maintaining is that Uh, they're easier to pick. And I am stepping through all sorts of uh, blackberry vines. And if you are in the south, you know about these thorny ones that grow like weeds. So, are you growing any uh, muscadines in your your garden? Uh, what kind do you have, and do you like them? Are they easy to grow? I have, to be honest with you, these have been in here probably, oh, three or four years, and I literally have never fertilized, never mulched, none of that. So, that is how easy they are to grow. And that is what I'm looking for in my plants is stuff that is so native and grows well because our sand and our heat and our sun is so much here that we need plants that grow well in those conditions so I'm gonna go down here a little bit. Here's some more little groups. Uh, they don't feel like they're quite ready yet.
Yeah, I love the color of these, but like I said, they're just not as flavorful. Yeah, let me walk down here. I just got a random one or two. Okay. So this is um, my first bowl of muscadimes. I'm gonna go over here and throw one at the birds just to see if uh, they'll be entertaining or not. And yes, my whole aspect here is I want to grow plants that grow well here and produce food. They may not be my favorite plants and a lot of people or like, don't grow anything that you don't like. I'm like, I will grow anything that will grow because I got animals mouths to feed here. And I would like to incorporate that. I want it to be a natural thing that the land and animals take care of each other. They pick the bugs and uh, provide the fertilizer and the, uh, the fruits help feed them. So you guys want to see what I got? Look at there. Who wants that? You want it? You want it? No? How about you? Now everybody wants it, right? Okay, Noah, he's a good boy, and here's Noah. I know a lot of people watch just for Noah. And so we'll see what a chicken thinks. Let me get up here near the chickens. Here. Oh, she likes it. And we'll throw one more to the animals, but like I said, this a little... There you go. And no, they're not starving to death. They just act like that way when they get something new. Okay. And then sometimes we play this little game of catch. <laughs> See if I can give the geese. The geese are always so scared by the crowds. But... Here you go. Nope, the chicken got it. All right, so say bye. Say bye, Noah. Anyhow, have a great day. And um, hopefully soon we'll be making some jelly.